Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I have received in the mail recently. Um, and that is mostly subscription boxes that are book related and then one book. Um, I am going to start with the last one that I got because it is the one I am the most excited about. The Book Bath Box for um, Autumn. So Book Bath Box is a quarterly subscription service that is from Winks of Winks and Inks. She is the curator of the boxes or the um, owner of Book Bath Boxes. Um, and they have been phenomenal so far. She did a Kickstarter when she first came up with the idea and I backed that immediately because I love Winx and I loved the idea um, for the book bath box. So I am excited to share this one with you because as you can see I've already been into it. I tore it open. I have no self-control. Like I said I backed the Kickstarter so there are a few extra goodies in here that have to do with that Kickstarter. Um, I will Go ahead and show you those even though they do give away the book um sort of but this is a hat which goes lovely with my pajamas um and the little logo is part is in the book and throughout it um and then the other thing that came with that uh, was a signed book plate and i'll go ahead and show you the book too so this month's book is, or this quarter's book, is an asteroid made of dragons, which I am so excited about. I remember when she read this and thinking that it sounded really neat, um, and it's also something I know is going to be right up my husband's alley because anything dragons he loves. Um, that's the one thing that, or one of the things that's really great about this box is um, all of the extras and stuff are super up my alley. Um, and while I'm interested in the books, like this one I, I can't wait to read and I'm excited to get to, even if they're not, because most of them are sci-fi fantasy, they're usually up my husband's alley. Uh, the last book I still haven't gotten to, but my husband's already read it, and this one he already said he wants to read, so he definitely gets the books before, gets to the books before I do. Um, of course, I get to all the extras sometimes before he does, which is the case with this one which you will see why I say that um, but let me know I looked this up on Goodreads and it's listed as number three in a series but I didn't think that this was a series so let me know if you have to read the other two books before you can read this when I say I got to this before my husband um, mostly before he even got home um, I had a terrible terrible Monday and so when I came home to this box I was already excited I knew it was gonna be here but the first thing I saw when I opened it was this little box from Moonstruck Chocolates uh, Moonstruck Chocolates is a Portland based chocolate company and um, they are amazing I lived in Portland for a little while um, for an internship when I was in college and I remember going to Moonstruck Chocolate and just it was like heaven. So when I saw this, I was like, yay, a little piece of Portland right here for me. Um, it had two uh, pumpkin truffles in it, one dark chocolate and one milk chocolate. I have eaten them both. Um, they didn't look as pretty because, as they're supposed to, because it's like 89 degrees still here in Tennessee and it sat in my metal mailbox all day. So that was unfortunate but it tasted fine and so I just scarfed them down before I even got to filming this video. Um, so there's also a little button for the book in there uh, which is really cute. And then there is a Dragon Dreams tea and it is a green chai tea. Look how cute the little container is. If it'll focus on that and not on me. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's so cute. It is a green Assam and cinnamon chai, which smells really, really good. And I am super into chai tea right now because it's, you know, it's getting cooler, we cooler weather. My white balance was on the wrong setting, so it was changing itself. But anyways, let's continue. Um, there are some different paper things in here. There's one talking about the extras that were included for... Um, Kickstarter backers. There's Winx's little business card which is really cute. Um, this has some different like pro tips for um, book baths and then it also has the list on there of Kickstarter backers. There's me! <laughs> 
And then it also has the card that explains kind of how the things tie into the box. Um, and the theme was the science of fantasy. Um, and it has everything kind of on the back of it. But the thing that I was most excited about, because I, when I tell you I could smell this before I even open the box, I'm not kidding. It smells, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's a little bag of bath salts and um, it's from, I think I said it was the library book soap company or something on Etsy. Um, but I've seen the soaps for this company before, but I didn't know they had bath salts. This smells incredible. It's green tea and bergamot and I'm gonna sit here and smell this all day long. Like it smells like something, like it reminds me of something kind of not green tea or bergamot, but something sort of like sweet and lovely. Um, but this I am so excited about. It inspired me to go take a bath on Monday. I didn't end up using these because I was like, I can't use the bath salts, eat the chocolates, and have basically nothing from the box to show to you guys. <laughs> so I ended up using actually the Mars bath bomb from the last uh, box, which was fantastic. Okay, so the next box I have to show you is the Muse Monthly box for October, I believe it was. Um, I've had this one for a little bit longer. Um, I just, and I already opened it too because I, again, just can't help myself. <laughs> um, so this one is kind of a special box. I mentioned it in my video for Muse Monthly um, last month. And it has a couple of different things in there that are kind of out of the ordinary. So usually it's a book and a tea, and that's kind of it. There's sometimes there's a bookmark, uh, but this month the box was created or curated by Margaret Atwood, um, and the book in there is her newest book. Um, and so there are some additional things that are in here because of that special curation. So I'll go ahead and show you the book. So the book is um, Hagseed or Hagseed um, by Margaret Atwood, and this is part of the Hograth um, Shakespeare retelling series, and this is a retelling of The Tempest, and I actually haven't read The Tempest, so I kind of want to get to that before I actually read this, but I love the size of these books, like the Hogra Hogarth Shakespeare editions. They're like narrow hardbacks, so they're like the size of a paperback, but in hardback and for some reason that just really appeals to me. I love the cover and I'm excited to get to this. I've been amassing more Margaret Atwood lately and so that was exciting to me. Um, it also has a um, signed book plate in there which is always fun. And then there is this little um, card which is beautiful and then it also has a note on there from Margaret Atwood which is cool. And then there is a really, really cool um, kind of, I think it's a card, but I would treat it more as a print with a Shakespeare quote on there. Yeah, and I just thought that was really pretty. It kind of looks like a book here and then the, the ship. And then the tea this time was English breakfast tea by Tea Pigs. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of English breakfast tea, but I do like it, and I have actually never tried anything from Tea Pigs. After a cat eruption. Um, cat interruption. Cat eruption would be really messy. Anyway, so I am excited to try this because I've not ever had any Tea Pigs, and a lot of people talk about Tea Pigs very highly, so, um, that was exciting. And then the other thing that was kind of an extra is this candle from uh, Novelly Yours, and it is the Tempest candle. And it smells good. It's kind of like a, a powdery scent. I told my husband it smells like my grandmother's bathroom, but that's not a negative thing. Um, it, there's a candle that my grandmother burns in her bathroom that smells just like this, so um, I like this. Oh, and I almost forgot there are, um, well, this one's not exactly a bookmark, uh, but it's a discount code for Tea Pigs that's shaped like a bookmark, which will probably get used as a bookmark. And then um, there's this one that I thought was really cute and clever um, that was included as well. I do like it when they include bookmarks just because, you know, bookmark order. And then the last thing is literally just a book I ordered from Amazon that arrived on Sunday. So it actually came out on Tuesday the 18th, but it arrived the Sunday before that because Amazon is weird. Sunday delivery is weird and pre-ordering books on Amazon is weird. Um, so 
this book has arrived and will be getting consumed. So yeah. Um, that is pretty much it for my kind of mailbag unboxing thing video in my pajamas. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I would definitely encourage you to go check out both Muse Monthly and both Book Bath Box. Um, Muse Monthly is a monthly book subscription service with books and tea. That's kind of how um, it was sold to me and um, it, it's more like literary fiction in that, bo in that box. And then Book Bath Box is quarterly and it is bath products, um, extras, and sci-fi and fantasy books. I'm not sure if it'll always be sci-fi and fantasies, but that's sort of how it's leaned so far. And knowing Winx and her taste, that's kind of um, where her interests lie. So it's a safe bet that a lot of them will be sci-fi and fantasy books. But yeah, I hope you guys check them out. And if you have read or are going to be reading this lovely gem, let me know. I'm sure a lot of you are. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye.